ओम श्री साई राम वेलकम टू प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्स ऑफ विजडम स्वामी हु इज द सोल प्रोवाइडर फॉर दिस एंटायर वर्ल्ड लुक्स एफ्टर इवन मोर लविंगली देन अवर क्लोजेस्ट रिलेटिव ही रिमूव द अपस्टिकल्स एंड हेल्प एवरी वन क्रॉस दिस ओशन of life bhagwan baba expects a similar attitude of service from his devotees bhagwan says you may not be able to help always but at least don't hurt anyone go to the needy be one with them try to reduce their mental and physical agony to whatever extent you can In earlier times there were no comforts in ashram as compared to now at the time swami used to tell several volunteers everyone comes here for sai not for you they are undergoing lots of stress a lot of suffering everyone has thousands of household problems calamities and suffering they just want to see sai to their hearts content and be peaceful and happy so speak to them softly and lovingly as if they are your own brothers and sisters and give them peace of mind swami always says my life is my message his glorious actions are proof that is loka bandhava he is Here is a story from the times when Prashantarin was not established. Yes, a couple who were devotees of Swami arrived for his darshan. They had brought their son along. Uh, uh, yes, who had a severe stomach ache and was suffering from dysentery. Even at night. He had to go to answer nature's call to the hills nearby. His parents had to leave for the village to attend some urgent work, so they entrusted the sick child to Swami and left. Swami, who is the divine parent of the entire world, is he not going to take? Is he not going to take care of this child? Yes. In those days, there were no toilets, so at night Swami Himself used to carry water and accompany the child. One night, when the boy felt like going to the toilet, Swami rebuked him in strong tone, saying, "Don't go, sit here." Swami kept looking at him. After about half an hour, the child's stomach ache and dysentery stopped, and he fell asleep peacefully. Even in earlier incarnations, we he- we hear about many instances when God has served His devotees. He stayed in Ekanath's house and served him as, um, yes, Sri Kandya. Sri Kandya. He used to wash Janabai's clothes, weave Kabir's cloth. He was a charioteer of Arjuna. He even carried Draupadi's. footwear only close relatives so one in this manner and since swami is lokabandhava the universal brother he serves all his devotees lovingly while explaining in the gita why he incarnates bhagwan has declared paritranaya sadhunam meaning thereby i am born from age to age to protect the good people in his present avatar bhagwan shri sat sai baba is constantly engaged in the task of protecting people there is a story about how swami protected a noble devotee of his sri radha krishna of kuppam was an ardent devotee of swami He was suffering from 
a serious problem and whenever the problem became acute he would suffer from unbearable stomach ache and severe vomiting once when these symptoms surfaced the vomiting and pain left him so weak that he could not even walk a single step without the support of two helpers so the doctor injected him with a tranquilizer so that he could get some sleep on seeing him fast asleep his family members retired for the night after some time when one of them woke up he found that radhakrishna was not in bed they started looking for him all over and could not understand how uh, he could have gone anywhere since he was unable to take even a single step without help when they could not trace him in the house they came out they came out yes and started calling out to him aloud by name there was a response from a nearby well they all rushed there the well was very deep and the wall was 5 feet high they wondered as to how he could have fallen in yet could see him standing with both hands raised as if somebody was supporting him from below so his son his son threw in a 20 feet long bamboo for support but the well was so deep that it fell into the um, waters just then a policeman who was on night duty reached there he brought a chair from the house tied it to a rope and dropped it inside the well but in vain for that too could not reach radha krishna finally his son tried to go down by the steps of the well to lift him up with his hands but that effort also failed and then suddenly as if someone pushed him from below radha krishna was thrown up and he landed exactly in the chair he was pulled up with the rope when he was brought out safely everyone inquired what exactly happened he answered the agony was so unbearable that i decided to end my life and went towards the well but i don't remember what happened later but i recovered consciousness with the touch of the cool water and i realized that i was standing on some sort of support when the family asked the policeman how he reached there he said when i was uh, patrolling in the area nearby an old man came to me and said go immediately radha krishna need your help so i came here although he had fallen from such a great height he was completely unhurt only the metallic vibhuti case in his pocket was crushed beyond recovery the next morning they hired a cab and all of them left for puttaparthi to seek swami's darshan the moment they reached prashantalayam they saw swami standing on the veranda he smiled and said my shoulders are still hurting all of last night i was carrying you over them they all fell at swami's divine feet see what a miracle it is bhagwan sri satsai baba is lokanatha is the master of this entire universe it is said that all the worlds are contained inside man himself the swami is the supreme lord of both which is visible outside and that which is contained inside jagatpati baba was one asked the question why this present incarnation is walking this earth yogi aravindo is here too in a flash bhagwan baba answered he is vyaktinatha aravindo is vyaktinatha and i am lokanatha the inner significance of this statement is see aravindo 
is the guardian of only those who worship him alone. But Swami is the guardian of all because he responds to the worship of any form of God. Therefore, he is Lokanatha. The person who asked this question probably did not know that a day after Swami's advent, Sri Aravindo had declared, Today God has incarnated on earth. While describing Bhagwan Baba's glory, Swami Chinmayananda too has said, I preach to the classes, but Swami preaches to the masses. The masses have now spread to the entire world. People of different faiths from all over have experienced that whichever form of God they worship, their prayers reach Bhagwan Baba. Swami says, I do not belong to any one place. I am not bound by any, uh, any name. I have nothing which is yours and mine. By whichever name you call me, I respond, I am present here. The experience of an American devotee of Swami, Mrs. Hislop, illustrates that Swami is Lokanada. When Mrs. Hislop was a young child, she saw a vision of an old man wearing a white robe and a white turban on the wall of the garden outside her house. In fact, considering her tender age, her faith in her religion and Lord Jesus, there is no reason why she should get this darshan. But she was blessed with it. Later, when she came to Swami and saw the photograph of Shirdi Sainath, she recognized it and realized the oneness of both the incarnations, remembering the incident from her childhood. Bhagwan Baba showered his grace on her long before she knew about him. In the Markandeya Purana, it is written there that Bhagwan Vishnu, the protector of this universe, will incarnate in South India during Kali Yuga. He will establish peace on earth. Everyone will worship him as protector of mankind. His name will be Satya. And it came through as we find today. <clears throat> Srishti, Stiti and Laya are three out of the seven well-known characteristics of an incarnation. Srishti is creation, Stiti is maintenance, and Laya is ultimate dissolution. Swami is God incarnate, and we find all these three characteristics are within Swami's absolute control. Stiti or maintenance means to nurture and protect all living beings. Swami is constantly engaged in this task. <coughs> in childhood, Swami always gave away food and clothes to any needy person who knocked on the door. He used to urge his family members to do the same and several times Mother Iswaramma would rebuke him, but little Satya would never stir from his determination. After the declaration of his avatarhood, the helpless and the seekers of wealth thronged to Swami and continue to do so even now. Swami showers his love and nurtures them and he also encourages their special talents. Here is an unusual story to illustrate this. As long, well, um, Yes, along with the helpless and the seekers of wealth, seekers of knowledge and wisdom also come to Swami. A few years ago, a scholarly lady started coming to him. She had mastery over several languages and she could translate any promise, any prose into poetry in no time on hearing Swami's glory. She came to him. She had darshan. 
he was also blessed with padasparshan and sambhashan instantly she composed a poem on baba and recited to him swami lovingly expressed a joy at this instant incident whenever this scholarly lady came for swami's darshan she would recite at least one poem to swami and however busy he was he would appreciate it this almost become a routine slowly a feeling of ego started developing in her mind once when she came for darshan swami initially ignored her so on her own she went up to him and said swami recently i have composed a poem let me recite to you on hearing this he said i don't have time and walked on the scholarly lady followed him after walking a distance swami went to a shed where some women were cleaning grains pounding spices while working they were singing bhajans and devotional songs on seeing swami they stopped singing he asked them why did you stop sing louder god is standing right here in front of you will you not sing his glory immediately the lady started singing in a loud voice swami pulled up a chair sat on it and got immersed in listening to the songs this went on for about half an hour the scholarly lady was watching all this from a distance she wondered how he could listen to them for half an hour when he had told her that he had no time her ego was deflated and she realized that swami had taught her a much needed lesson that the swami asked the women to distribute the grains amongst themselves gave them padanuskar and blessings and left so whenever a festival is being celebrated at prashantalayam a narayan seva is organized and clothes are distributed if any construction work is going on swami the sustainer of the poor serves food to the hard working laborers with his own hands it is a divine sight to see that seva ceremony quite beyond description sairam meet later